Hello everybody, welcome back to Dirty Bird TV. Today, we're continuing on with the concealed carry handguns. Now, this is another handgun that's on the California handgun roster, certified for sale to Californians. It's the Bursa Firestorm 380. Yesterday, we took a look at the SIG P238, which is also a 380 and makes an excellent concealed carry gun. However, with a price tag of around $700, it's not accessible to everyone. This typically comes in at around $350, give or take, depending on if you find it on sale, and it is also chambered in 380, very similar in size and function. One of the advantages to the Bursa Firestorm is the fact that it has a double action or single action trigger. So you can carry it in the hammer down position and use the double action long pull for comfort if that's how you prefer, or you can carry it with the hammer cocked and take advantage of the single action side of the trigger, which is very crisp, very clean. In terms of specs on this gun, the overall length is 6.6 .6 inches and the height, because of the pinky extension on the magazine, is about five inches. The width, 1.3 inches, and the weight of it is 20 ounces. So it is similar in weight to the HP 25A. However, because it's chambered in 380, we know that a lot of manufacturers offer excellent self-defense ammunition for 380 ACP. One of the things that I have to find out is how well does it shoot? In terms of capacity, this thing offers a seven plus one round capacity for a total of eight rounds. Very nice, and the grip does feel very good in my hand. As far as the sights go, they are adjustable and it has the bar style dovetail in the rear with the dovetail front. And the barrel length on this is about 3.5 inches. So it does have a little bit longer of a barrel. In terms of construction, it is an aluminum alloy and that contributes to that 20 ounces of weight. Let's go ahead and find out how it shoots and see if we still like it afterwards. All right, we're back in the studio. I'm gonna wrap up the Bursa Firestorm 380 video, giving you my final thoughts, as well as some recommendations that may help you out. I took this thing out, shot it quite a bit. I really enjoyed it. Something to mention right off the bat is there is plenty of grip for me to get my big hand on, and I love that. So very comfortable with the pinky extension. The ergonomics for me are excellent. The next thing I wanna mention is the trigger. The double action, single action trigger is nice on both sides. It's a very smooth, clean, crisp trigger on the double action and even crisper on the single action side as you would expect. Bursa did an excellent job with that trigger. Something that I recommend when you're gonna consider this for a concealed carry or self-defense gun is find ammunition that it likes. Find something that cycles 100% of the time and that would make a good decision as far as what type of ammo. The last thing you want to happen is you to get a gun, have it for concealed carry or self-defense, go to cycle ammo through it when you need it, and it not work. So pick some up, don't hesitate. I know it can be a little bit expensive, but grab two boxes, one to carry and one to shoot. Verify that it shoots well, carry the other one. That would be my recommendation. The next thing is something that I recommend for any gun whether it's a carry gun or just something you're gonna put in the safe and collect. Get a cleaning kit when you get one. That way you can keep it well-maintained. The cleaner and more well-maintained that you keep it, the better it's gonna function when you need it. So with that said, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check the bell to be notified when future content comes out, as well as hit that subscribe button. I appreciate you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.